Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? If you're cis and you won't date trans folks, you're transphobe. Now, if that made you mad, maybe it's your prejudices that you need to probe. No matter the reasons you've got, you're reducing us to when we disrobe. And that kind of thinking ain't sophisticated. It's more like a microbes. I know you think you've got good reasons. Maybe you do. Trauma's real. It's hard to heal. I'd never say that that isn't true. But transphobia is transphobia, and you won't get a pass when we're through. We're human beings, not sex organs, cis lesbians. I'm talking to you. Shut the f up! Wow. Wow, that was really hard to get through. Oh, boy, what a terrible, terrible song. Ooh, and you know, it's too bad. I really used to enjoy Weird Al Yankovic. I thought his parodies were great. He was talented. He was entertaining, but he has really gotten soft. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys are ready for your daily dose of brain aids because that's exactly what you're going to get after watching today's video. So let's get into it. Um... So, meet Ivy. This is Ivy. Now, Ivy says, life is hard. I'm doing the best I can. And Ivy, I don't disagree with you. Life can be hard at times, and that's all we can ask is that you do the best you can. That's it. Now, Ivy, I have a strange feeling that you are making life a whole lot harder on yourself than it has to be. Just throwing that out there, but I guess keep pushing, Ivy. I don't know if you guys noticed Ivy's jersey. It says Tranosaurus. He was a retard. Now, I wish Ivy nothing but the best, but I have a couple of really quick suggestions for Ivy. Take them or leave them. Maybe comb the hair a little bit so you don't look like you just hopped out of bed. Also, go a little more subtle on the hair coloring. Just a little bit. Something that doesn't quite jump out at us like that. It's just a little. Pull it back just a little bit. And then maybe, just maybe life will get a little easier. I don't know. What do I know? Anyway, this next, I don't get this. Why would this person film this? First of all, we've had this person on this channel before. It is a biological man. So it's now what they call it, a trans woman. Uh, this is World of Film. I have work tomorrow morning and I don't want to go. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Are you crying? Oh. Are you crying? That's not crying. So that was, if we're being honest here, a grown man having a meltdown because he didn't want to go to work. Now, I get it. Work sucks sometimes. Sometimes you just don't want to go. But maybe... Just maybe you call out sick, you take the day off, you take a long walk before work to clear your head and get a different perspective. Maybe not film yourself crying about it and putting it out there on the interwebs for everybody to see. <laughs> it's not a good look. Anyway, uh, next up, this guy. Uh, this guy, he's kind of like a like a black fly or a mosquito that just keeps buzzing around you and you're trying to swat him and you can't get him. It's just that annoying. <laughs> anyway, the comment says... Someone commented, it's unnecessary. Biological women are the standard. Trans women are the deviation. Extra adjectives are needed for clarity when we are the definition. Here is his genius response. Roll the film. How the assertion that bio women are the standard and trans women are the deviation is a very strange form of white supremacist eugenics. eugenics. And I was going to also point out how you have green eyes, and green eyes are actually considered a deviation from the norm. And so I can't remember if it's the same amount of people that have green eyes or the amount of people that have red hair are about the same amount of people in the U.S. that are transgender, but it's one of those two statistics, and the other one applies to intersex people. I think it's red hair, trans people, green green eyes, intersex people, but I can't remember. The point is, I am as common as your goddamn eyeballs. F***ing
Now, one rule of thumb that I use for myself is to never believe the statistics or studies that these people use when they're in debates or arguments or rants on TikTok because most of the time they're complete bull****. They're just not true. And James would have you believe that there are far more trans people than there really are. Anyway, oh, looky, looky. What do we have here? It's James's sidekick, Dylan. What the hell is Dylan doing? Roll it. I'm a girl who gets facial hair, and that is absolutely okay, but I have to shave my face every day, so I'm using the EOS Sensitive Shave Cream to protect my skin and get a close shave. Bikini reveal in three, two, one. I'm feeling silky smooth and confident thanks to EOS. Love ya! What is your major malfunction, numbnuts? Didn't mommy and daddy show you enough attention? Ah, oh, dilly dilly dilly. All right, next up, um, I don't, I don't know. This is just one of those ones where I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Roll it. Hi. So I thought for 2,000 followers, I could show you guys what my natural voice sounds like. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Squidward, I had to eat your kid. What hey. the f*** was that? Oh, boy. I don't, I don't know what the hell's going on there. Well, so what I think that was is I think that that was a, be polite here, a trans woman. So the person was try, obviously trying to make the voice more feminine to see. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Oh, that's not good. Anyway, before we go any further, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to let this clip loop on the screen a few times for... Your viewing pleasure, of course. <laughs> wow. Wow. Anyway, today's video is being brought to us by the YouTube channel, Linen God's Angels. Linen God's Angels, thank you so much for sponsoring another video. I truly, truly, truly appreciate the love and support. Now, Linen God's Angels has a great YouTube channel that I will link in the description box below. They get some really peaceful and calming music if you you know want to listen to it just to chill out, meditate, or anything like that. I highly recommend going and checking them out after this video. Now, if you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below. And I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you. Let's get this off the screen. Ooh. Did you see those earlobes? They were bouncing off that person's shoulders. Now, at any time in the future, if that person decides, well, eh, this ain't really the look I'm going for anymore, I'm going to change it up. Those earlobes are never going back to normal. That's it. That's it. <laughs> anyway, next up we have, oh, uh, boy. <laughs> next up we have Leah Thomas, a.k.a. Well, who was recently on this podcast, and I'll tell you what, I am... I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. I'll tell you why after. Roll the film. They're like, oh, we respect Leah as a woman, as a trans woman, whatever. We respect her identity. We just don't think it's fair. You can't really have that that sort of half support where you're like, oh, I respect her as a woman here, but not here. They're using the guise of, of feminism to sort of push transphobic uh, beliefs. And I think a lot of people in that camp sort of carry an implicit bias against trans people, but don't want to, I guess, fully manifest or, or speak that out. And so they try to just play it off as this sort of half support. You pompous, stuck up, snot nose, twerp, scumbag, face, dickhead, hole. All right, guys, we are going to be wrapping it up on this one because, personally, I can't take any more. I'm fairly certain you guys can't either. That is way too much brain aids for one day. And this last one, I'm just going to play the first five, four or five seconds of it for copyright reasons. I don't know if this is copyrighted. Let me tell you something about copyrights, though. In yesterday's video, I had about a minute-long rant, rant of actor Michael Rappaport just so excited, like a kid on Christmas Day about Tucker Carlson being fired from Fox News. It was very bizarre. But anyway, he must copyright the rants he puts out because I got a copyright strike on that video. I was actually able to go in 12 hours after the video was released, edit that section out. So if you've seen it after that, it was earlier today when I did it. 
that rant's been taken out of it. So I apologize for anyone that has seen it, seen the video, and it seems like it doesn't flow smoothly. Um, but YouTube's copyright rules uh, in terms of service and things like their their whole copyright system is and fair use system is is not good at all. So anyway, I don't know if this is copyrighted. I'm not going to take the chance. But the first five seconds of this is uh, it's gold. It's all you need to hear. So um, and also, guys, those of you that sent your uh, prayers and your healing vibes this way for our mascot, the, my French bulldog goose, I just want to say thank you guys so much um i got a lot of good advice as far as dogs and injuries and medicines and things like that um and just a lot of you guys said you know prayers to goose i hope he heals up soon you know sending positive vibes to you and your family so you thank you guys truly truly thank you that's why i say this is the greatest community on the youtubes i mean I, thank you guys it's it's tough it's really tough it's, I, i'm heartbroken right now he's sitting right next to me he can't even move he's been in the same position all day standing staring at the wall um I'm waiting for some calls from some specialists and some, get some scans on him, some vets, some more medication. Uh, so I truly thank you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing human beings. Thank you. All right, guys, things are clearly getting crazy out there. So please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace. Roll it. All white people are racist, period, point blank, end of story. You cannot be white and not racist. Well, I guess I'm racist. And you ain't black.